The idea for this video comes from a visitor to my website and they asked, do you have anything where you're writing in the snow? And I thought, what a great idea. So basically this could work on sand, it could work on snow, it could basically, well it could work on any sort of background you like. So you could do it as a sort of wish you were here, you could do it as a happy Christmas as we're going to do with this particular picture, whatever the message Let's take a look. We're going to come across, first things first, we're going to pick up the type tool. Clicking down, I've selected a font. So it's uh, this font here. Basically, you want quite a broad font. So that's the one we're after. So it's a nice bold font. That's the largest size we got so far, but we're going to sort of deal with this just a little bit later. I'm going to type in my message, which is going to be Happy Christmas. So this could equally apply if you're on the Southern Hemisphere. You could Australia, New Zealand, perhaps write that in snow. Once you've done it, come across, clicking on the T in the Layers tab is now going to sort of uh, commit it. You can see it's now saying Happy Christmas in the box there. A bit on the small side. However, if we double click, you'll notice the way it's become highlighted. You might want to bring your cursor up to where it's got the T, the large and the small T, clicking down. You've got the finger with the arrow through it. You can make it bigger that way. Equally, you could bring your cursor down. Pressing and holding down Control or Command on a Mac, that's Control on a PC, Command on a Mac, you can drag it out to make it as big as you want. You can just sort of press Control or Command and you can sort of reposition it. And then you see the way every time you press Command or Control, it brings up the Transform tool. That looks pretty good like that. One other neat little thing. Bring your cursor inside, right click, there from the drop down list, check spelling. Always worth a go. But I've spelled that right. So it's got a spell checker built into this as well. Once you're happy, click on the T. There it is. Job done. Now what we need to do now is make this sort of lay down, sort of place it down as if it's on the snow. At the moment it's a little bit too upright. Command T, Control T is the transform tool. Bring in the sort of cursor inside, right clicking. The one we're after perspective is missing. So I'm just going to press enter or return just to get rid of that. We're going to come up to the text tool. We need to make this into a normal pixel layer. And to do that, coming across where it says Happy Christmas, we're going to right click. We're going to come down to rasterize type. This has now converted it into a pixel layer. The type layer is gone. It's now a pixel layer using Command T or Control T again has put the transform tool around it. This time bringing the cursor in we have now have perspective so we can drag hold of the bottom, we can bring this out, we can move it around, drop it down like that would be pretty good and just move it into position. That's the sort of placement there. Job done. Double clicking inside or press enter return applies the transform tool. We need to make this look as if it's lying in the snow. Also, I'm not particularly happy with the colour because I think with black we're not going to see. I want to do a drop shadow. So just coming up here to the Layers panel, bring your cursor inside the thumbnail. Now press Command or Control. You notice you get the little cursor on the back. It was a little square on the back, should I say. There it is. We're going to fill it with white, which is the background colour. So using Command Delete, that's Command Delete, that's Control and Backspace fills it with white. Command or Control D will deselect. So it's Command D, Control D to deselect. So there it is so far. We're going to zoom in. Stay. Thank you. Moving it down, let's take a look here. There's the layer we're working on. Coming down to the FX icon, we're going to come to In a Shadow. We're going to work on In a Shadow. There it is. Just going to click down, drag it out a little bit, sort of, lying, you know, sort of lining it up with the shadow area we got there. So just bringing it out a little bit more like this, perhaps taking the size up a bit, perhaps reducing the opacity. Colour, not particularly convincing. Clicking in the little black rectangle there brings up the select shadow colour. Bringing the cursor out, clicking on the shadow so we can now match this up. We're going to click OK to that. But once again, it doesn't look particularly convincing. We can't see through the colour of the text. However, if we come to the blend option default, let's just take a look. It's exactly the same as we got here. You may just be able to make out fill. If we drop down to fill opacity, what fill opacity is going to do, if we drop this down,
you'll notice the way we can now see through is removing the color. So no matter what color you did, I deliberately changed from black because we wouldn't see the shadow, but no matter what the color was, it would re remove that from the text, allowing you to see through. So there it is, that looks pretty good. The other way to do it, if you've got white, is you could just change to multiply. Job done. But I think the fill opacity does a really good job, so that's the one we're going to stick with for this. Next thing, we're going to give this a little bit more sort of, uh, of a feel to it as such. So we're going to go for bevel and emboss. Not sure I like that. Direction is up. We're going to click on direction for down. That looks better like that. And if we just select the depth, we can sort of make it a little bit more sort of convincing or take it back. That looks good like that. The size, just playing with the sliders, softness, that looks pretty good. Let's go for contour as well and texture. Always wanted to use this one. <laughs> the bubbles. I've always thought, what is this bubble thing about? However, if we just take a look, that could work pretty well. You see there's our bubble text there, sort of uh, making a bold entrance. But if we use the depth, we can just take this back a little bit, just to give it a little bit more texture in the area where the text is. I like that. And if we just switch it on and off, you can see the difference that makes to it. So I finally used this bubbly thing there, which I've always wondered, what's it do? So once we're happy with that, let's just take a look. If we come to the uh, inner shadow, click on and off, you can see the difference, making the text look really good there. Coming through, you notice the fill layer has dropped down to, or the fill here has dropped down to 0%. Equally, I can take that up, bringing back the white. Perhaps just a little bit of white might just set it off. So just a little bit of color there. The opacity, just dropping that down a notch or two could look pretty good. Job done. Command or Control Zero to pop out. And there it is. Like that. Just pressing the Command or the Control brings up the Move tool. And you can see, you can see right the way through that text. So it can work on a whole range of subjects. It doesn't have to be for Christmas cards as we're working on here. It could be on anything, but it just allows you to see through the text, through the type. Just dropping that down a little bit more in its opacity. That looks good like that. And there it is. Go on. Give it a try, it really does work a treat, and until the next time, it's happy imaging, and take care.